get a lot of questions when it comes to setting up a portable generator for the first time, and even more questions arise when you need to set up your generator to run your home's power needs when the power goes out. We invited our neighbors over to check out a demonstration of some of the latest generators on the market from Duramax. We showcased how to use the generator and how to power your home when the lights go out. Our neighbors did not disappoint and they came over to meet up with our panel of experts from their respective fields including gas, electric, and AC. Our experts spoke with our friends and neighbors regarding the setup, maintenance, and other questions around owning a portable generator. The top asked questions at our events are answered in this video fact, so let's get started. Hi, I'm Brian with AB3 Power. We manufacture and supply natural gas propane hoses. I'm Dustin Sheffield. I'm a master electrician and owner of Lease Services. Hi, my name is Gino. I work with Tony's Plumbing. We are a full licensed plumbing company. So I want to know where I can safely store my generator. The best bet is to leave it in a garage or a sealed storage shed. Um, is what I recommend to my customers. Right, it's usually somewhere where it's dry. That's the main important thing. Where is it recommended to operate the generator? One of the main questions that I always get asked is, where do I place my generator before you kick it on? Well, we always recommend you being at least five feet away from any windows and at least 20 feet away from any garage door. How safely is it to uh, transport a generator? So I keep so, getting people asking me, what are they supposed to do when they're moving this generator around? So what do you tell them? I tell them what the manufacturer tells me. I tell them to drain all the gasoline out, disconnect the cord from the spark plug, that way there's no chance that anything can spark, and sort of cool dry plates. Do alternative fuels to gasoline like propane and natural gas cause CO2? Everything produces CO2. Oh, I didn't think so. No, well, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it, it, it does. It smells better. I prefer, the, I prefer the smell of propane over natural gas and gas, but it's still CO2 that can kill you if you yeah. have it close to an opening in your house. Yeah, and usually gasoline will burn a little bit more CO2 than propane and natural gas as well. So my question is, can my generator be operated uh, in rain or snow? These things are made to be outside. They're made to get dirty. They're made to get splashed. But when you're running it, you don't want to have rain pouring on it. So if you have a sturdy enough cover that it doesn't need any sort of ex extra cover over it, that it can stay dry during a long outage, great. But usually I just recommend find some natural covering somewhere that's not near an opening in your house that you can run it or refuel it or you know, service it without getting in the rain. Our local area event was a success and the turnout and interest in portable generators is very high. We would love to thank everyone who joined us in our generator showcase. We would also like to thank our three experts for spending time with us today and answering your questions about generator safety.